Let me know if the fan is too much. I, I'm, if I absolutely have to, it, it sucks up the toxic chemicals best if it's like right here. But if I uh, move it to the floor, it might not. Oh, can't hear it. Well, that's good. Yay. So we've already had like a cocktail tonight, but I decided I'm, I'm having another one. So here is my beverage. This is a random beverage I made up. It doesn't exist in real life. Here's my little, uh, my notebook. I was, uh, playing around here with some, uh, ideas. So you can see I was practicing. I was trying to think this out ahead of time. So I have somewhat of a plan. And hopefully you guys won't have to watch the boring part here very, very long. But I already started painting this kind of like nude base on my nails already. This one screwed up and I have to start over. <laughs> There's like, oh, I can see something in there. Um, so I was thinking this nude base is very, very popular. A lot of um, nail people I follow use this. This is just Essay Mademoiselle. You can get it at Walgreens, you know, drugstore kind of thing. Oh, I still see the hair in there. There's this hair that is like in there. I feel like I'm just going to leave it. Wait, maybe I can get it over here. Oh, I thought it was sticking off the edge. I was like, I can get it. This poor thumbnail already was done once, and I'm like, probably just gonna leave it. I did my pinkies, I messed up a pinky. So I'm gonna... This stuff is awesome, but man, if you don't top coat it quickly, gonna F up on you pretty fast. Luckily I'm um be putting stuff on top of this. So and actually I bought some new clear coat my night owl lacquer. I bought um I was just like you know what I'm gonna go for it and I bought they have this one here again it looks just like the other one but it's called moon glow and this one glows in black light, which I just think is pretty nifty. And then I wanted to try their um, matte topper. I don't use matte top coat too often. I have another one, but it would always leave streaks in my nail polish. So I kind of bailed on that. And it's a company I really like, but I don't like that matte because it's so streaky. So I'm going to see maybe if I go with this other, you know, matte top coat, it'll... Uh, It won't do the same thing, I'm hoping. I think, uh, I think this, uh, music is, this is like some fairy tavern music. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I usually spend, like, I'll get, like, a night in front of the TV, I'll turn on a good show, and I will take my old nail polish off, cut, file, buff my nails, trim my cuticles, and I'll do that all sitting in front of the TV. And then I do all the rest of this, like, and I usually put my base coat on that, that night. Look at that. It looks botched up before, but... So the weird thing is, and I'm sure... There are other people who do this and don't use gel. I don't know if they put top coats in between their layer the layers of nail polish that they do, but for me, it helps, like, I think it helps it last longer, and it helps kind of, like, 
I don't know, it just helps me work because the quick dry top coat will dry the polish and then I can move on to the next step. So it just helps make things a little faster for me. So it's like, why are you doing all these layers of clear coat? Well, because it'll make it so I don't bump the polish and screw it up. Because man, do I do that so easily. This nail, I could just tell, it's gonna be the problem nail of the evening. It's just what's gonna happen. Mine look trashed right now. Oh, really? That's okay. It happens. I mean, I, uh, I have a cuticle cutter, but I'm kind of doubting using it. I have this one. I don't know where it is right now. I'm trying not to bump all of I have like a million things happening on my desk behind me here. In front of me. I don't know where my little cuticle trimmer, but it's a little, like, you take this thing and you... Yeah, you could definitely just, like, cut yourself if you're not careful. Um... I see a bubble. Um, and I have done that, but also, I don't know, I feel like sometimes it just looks, your, it makes your skin look like, I, I don't know, like, like it's been cut up, you know, because it has. <laughs> Alright. So what I'm doing is just, like I said, I put this, um, this Mademoiselle on my thumb and my pinkies, because I have a plan for them. I do have a plan. I'm excited. And I got this really pretty polish. This one's from Koki. It's only the only Koki nail polishes I have. And then they have this really, really pretty flaky gold topper from Cirque. And it's really, really pretty. And this one I bought, like, for St. Patrick's Day, like, probably two years ago. And it's just really pretty. It's like little tiny gold glitter flecks, and then there's big chunks of, like, green glitter in there. So we're gonna mess around with those. Then I got my really pretty Maniology greens. Aren't they pretty? The camera's gonna, like, throw the color off. I know this one looks blue in the camera, but it's really, like, a dark green. It's called Greenhouse. This one's called Limelight, and this one is called Lily Pad. This one, these two are very pretty together. Um, so we're gonna use all these. I was playing around my mat over here. I can't show you because my camera is kind of, like, frozen in place, but I have on my little mat here, I was messing around. Got my stampers over here. Ready to go. Got like three of them over here. So let's see. I have a plan for my middle nail. So we're gonna go ahead and put some uh some white regular polish down on that. So I like to get the base colors out of the way and get to like the more fun part, but like usual, I always have some kind of like technological thing hold me back. And we were trying to get my new camera set up in here, which is this one that you're looking down at. Looking at the nails. The nail camera. Uh oh. I see you hair. Why why so many hairs tonight? you evil evil hair trying to foil my plans and you don't want to F around with white and black nail polish it's just for some reason you know white and black nail polish are some of the most difficult polish colors to work with they just are. So, even if it looks bumpy, I take it. 
I keep seeing my camera like freeze up once in a while, so hopefully it's not freezing for you guys. Hmm, let's see, let me look at my chart. I think I'm gonna do white on both pinkies, but I don't know if I'm gonna do the same design. I usually like run alcohol over my nails before, cause I'll I'll go a couple days with my base coat on, and it probably gets all, you know, dirt on it and oil. And I didn't do that this time though, but that's okay. So this is my, my, uh, this is supposed to be like fantasy tavern music. I thought it was fitting for a St. Patrick's Day Manny, you know? Oh, I'm trying to get my, my stuff to come, come up, come up. Here we go. that white chill out. Now I want to do, see look at that, I love that, I could touch it, I could touch it, it's great. Did I get that one? Yeah, I got that one. They're going to be kind of a nude nail, but they just look a little, I don't know, they look a little nicer when you put the essay on there. All right, so I want to do, so I'm probably going to let this white dry a little bit. I'm going to get some of my stickers out. Let me go back here. Look at my box real quick. Last time I these things are awesome. These nail protector stickers. I think last time I used them. I can use green. I don't know. I feel like we should use a contrasting color. Um, one of these was sticking really good, and one was not. I don't know why. You know my beard. I'm gonna use the black one. I don't know how long it takes this white to dry. It's a little tacky. All right. I don't think I can put that on yet till I get my white to dry. here set up this 
is going to throw me off doing this on a Tuesday night. It is, uh... I'm usually doing this on a Thursday night. So I'm going to be... I'm going to be vastly disappointed I go to work tomorrow and find out it's Wednesday. <laughs> I said last time I got um, these stickers, the last pack I had was awesome. The last pack I had was very stretchy and just very easy to use. I'm gonna get this uh, moon glow and base out of here so I don't accidentally use them. I wonder if I should do another coat of the white. feel like I should, like a real light coat. So I don't see any. It's going to be covered in some, there's going to be some words on there. And then some glitter. Let's see if how light I can go. Take it. Take it. Take it as a win. Making it worse, guys. It's alright. That'll be okay. As long as I don't bump it, it'll be okay. So I hope everybody is having a great week. I actually would love to do something fun for St. Patrick's Day, and I thought about planning something for a long time, but then it just it kind of fell apart on me a little bit. Uh, turns out a good friend of mine is going to come visit a couple weekends from now, and I was like, well, I don't want to like have two really busy weekends in a row, so I'm like, I'm gonna not do anything crazy for St. Patrick's Day, and I'll just hang out with her, and that'll be fun. But I still think I would like to do something like St. Patrick's Day night. I just don't know what. Don't want to don't want to go party and go crazy or anything, but it would be nice to uh, get out in the atmosphere, you know? Yeah, I kind of want to do, like, in-person socializing, though, you know? <laughs> like, I want to see, I want to see friends in person and see their faces, but, like I said, I don't really have anybody nearby to, to hang out with anymore. It's like everyone, all my friends are gone, no one's around anymore. It makes me sad. Because I really wanted to, like, 
wear some green, put some beads on, go to a bar, you know, see everybody. I love, I love when you go to the bar and they have the authentic Irish music playing. And they have an actual, like, band playing Irish music and you ever, there's, like, the songs that you sing along with. I really enjoy that. I haven't done that in a really long time. Turn off. There we go. It's probably not enough time, but... Extra, extra tapa. Don't get me wrong though. I love my video game nights. They're awesome too. But I kind of miss like actually going to a party with people and doing in-person things. We used to have some fun parties at our house back in the day. Stephanie, I'm sad you missed them. I think you would have had fun. And I'm all about a theme. I love having a themed party. <laughs> If I would have known you back then, girl, you would have you would have been at our house. I feel like the music has gotten somber. I need more upbeat music. But then I'll have to go on like an internet hunt for like copyright free Irish music or something. <laughs> Wait, when did we meet? Was it pre or post Missy and Jay? I... Mm, oh no, I think... That's a great question. I feel like it was before, but... I mean... I feel like before they were like an official item, you know, we were hanging out at Missy's house and stuff, doing stuff for for quite a few years, you know, and then, you know, because she used to have fun parties too, like before they got married. I met Missy back when it was... When Missy was uh, always hanging out with Kimmy, I would see her and Kimmy out at the bar. <laughs> um, but see, I don't know. I'm guessing you weren't like... Did, did you go out to the bars and stuff? I don't know if that's your jam or not. Or was your jam, you know? I know a lot of us don't really go bar hopping that much now. Oh, I just messed that up. No, oh, I just hit like... Oh, it's all wrinkled. I'm gonna try to smooth it with my finger. Oh, I hate when it does this. Yeah, I was in Knoxville. We do breweries like once a week here. Oh, cool, okay. Nice. I don't drink a lot of beer. I would not call myself a beer person, but I'm all about a cocktail. Okay, I kind of smoothed it over. <laughs> Looks like there's this crazy fingerprint in the middle of my nail. Again, you probably can't see it. Alright, so I'm going to get one of these stickers here. And we're going to wrap it around my nails. It's going to be fun. Yeah, we used to go to the Black Horse all the time. If you know the
the black horse. And um, apparently there's one in Knoxville. So I heard. I've never been to that one. I actually only thought... I thought the black horse was like its own, you know, the only establishment of its kind. When I found out there was one in Knoxville. Ooh, come up here. There is a cool speakeasy downtown that has a cowboy bebop themed Ooh. Yes. My B-I-L mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, um, no, I, any anime themed drinks, I'm down with that. <laughs> Alright, so it's, it's, it's gonna look weird, but it's gonna be worth it, because we're gonna do a gradient, so we gotta cover that finger up so we don't get paint all over my skin. Since some of these stickers are better than others, and some just stick better, these aren't too bad. But it's amazing how the, uh, the paint will still sneak by your finger. And you don't want the sticker to get on your nail because it will cause the paint to like lift off when you go to take the sticker off. You know, you'll actually like peel your paint off. You don't want that. So I really try to get particular about this. I'm doing that old lady thing. I'm looking over the top of my glasses. Um, but I'm basically just really trying to make sure this isn't going to get on my nail. And it happens, it'll still get on there, but like this one I could see is, I think it sticks a little better once your skin warms up the sticker, it tends to, this one's not perfect, but it's okay. Alright, so I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this to the same thing on the other hand, and then we're going to do a fun gradient with green colors. It's going to be fun, fun, fun. You're gonna have the time of your life as much as you can huh? watching a video on on the internet. Have you enjoyed your? Uh, Wait, I gotta see what you wrote. Hold on just a second. And I put my glasses back on. This one, I am stretched it kind of far. Sometimes the nail polish is, you know, so chemical, like, it, it melts this stuff. It'll, like, you'll be peeling the melted parts off of your finger. This one didn't stick like I wanted it to. It keeps trying to pop back over. Keep working it. Keep working it, girl. Alright, let me see what she said. Oh, <laughs> she said, I'm ready. I'm ready. Where's that Missy face at? Missy Missy. Missy Fab. We, I had a good time playing games last night, by the way. We had fun. I feel like we were we were goofing off a little more, and it was it, that that was fun. That's what games are for, for goofing. I think this will take me a hot minute. I'd love to play games tonight, but I think this will this will eat up my my night. So if I do play anything, it'll probably be me hopping on Overwatch at like 11:30 is my guess. 
All right. Now the fun part. Now the fun part. You should always take your lint roller and lint roll your little makeup sponge here because there's always hair on it of some sort. And that's why I keep having problems tonight because there's probably dust. We need to like probably change our, our air filter that's like in the upstairs. But I always do that because I've learned that I get hairs in my polish. It's good to lint roll your desk too. Alright, so we're going to use this makeup sponge. We're going to get our three colors here. And we're going to... I'm going to do like an angled... I'm going to try to do like an angled gradient. And basically you just want to get all the, po the polishes you're using for the gradient. You want to get them all open. You're going to leave them open. I haven't swatched the top of my balls. There's women that like buy these little dots that you can paint and then put on the top of your bottles. I, I haven't gotten all that. I do have a swatch like plastic nails that hang up. They're pretty awesome. I like those. All right. So let's. Uh, it's such a clean sponge. This is the one I was using earlier that I already chopped up and cut up, and I try to reuse my sponges. Let's see, so I want the dark to be at the bottom. We're gonna do this at an angle, so it's gonna be like, like this. Okay, so I'm gonna want the blue, the, not blue. Urgh. This darker one, so ironically, I don't know why, but it is, um. It's a little watery, like, it's not as I feel like pigmented as it should be. Now this one is nice and thick. I'm trying to keep my lines t not too thick though. See that one went on thick. It's almost covering up the other one and I'm trying not to <laughs> let it do that. This color is really cool. It's like a mossy Limey, I don't know what. Green, that's really pretty. Alright. Let's give her a go. Alright, so I'm gonna try to make sure I don't spread my hands so I don't get my other fingernails messed up. So I'm gonna do this at an angle because I wanna try to get an angled look. Let's see how it goes. Wish me luck. Not too bad. The the lime though didn't come to all the way to the edge. I'm gonna have to make my bands a little bigger. Believe it or not. So let's. I, I was trying to keep things kind of thin because my nails are usually so small that I really can't make big wide bands. But this nail is pretty long. Whoa, it's a lot of paint. And you wanna, if you're putting three colors on there, sometimes you're putting color on there for effect, but I really wanna see all three colors. Personally, I wanna see them all. So now I'm being a little... I'm gonna spread these out a little while. I love that. That light green looks so cool on the sponge. There we go. Okay, it's a little wider. Still don't have this one up here. Alright. You don't want to um, layer go over too many times when you're doing these gradients but it's all it's already dry to the touch almost so I'm gonna try to go a little wider here Let's 
it, it, I didn't get to the side here, but that's okay. I'm trying not to, I don't want to like, if you, you not pay attention, you will mess up your colors. Oh, I think that was cool though. It's gonna look really cool when I take the, uh, the wrap off. I could go the other direction. Since this one's going this way, I could go this way on the other one. What do you think? What do you think? Should I go the same direction? <laughs> it looks kind of dark on camera. I should look brighter. I think if I should keep the green at the top and maybe like, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep the green at the top, but I'm going to like go the, the other angle basically. Okay to go a little thick on your polish on this sponge. So, let's see, I went that way, I'm going to go this way now, and my skin's going to get hit this time, but that's okay. The angle's a little different for me, okay, let's give it a shot. I feel like I'm not getting the dark color at the bottom on there very well. That one's a little more mush than the other one. I think it's because I'm having trouble getting the angle right. I went that way. This is supposed to go this way. Ooh, it's so hard for me to do. I'm trying to, like, fix the tip because I kind of screwed up the tip of the nail. All right. I'm going to let this one... I'm going to let them dry. You really... Honestly, too, and if it coats really well and it looks good to you, you don't have to keep, I don't think you have to keep going. Like, t these these colors are super pigmented. I don't think I need to keep applying. But what I don't like is this last one kind of, all the colors kind of mush together. And so I'm going to do it one more time. I feel bad because I feel like the color I'm starting out with is getting it's not get, it's not getting in there okay I don't really pay attention here I see how it's a little tacky yeah so this one's a lot So let's try again. It's a little better. I think that's better. cheating with my other paint here. <laughs> nope. All right. Now, we need to, since we're, we're messing with the same colors and stuff, we need to just go to the next side. Oh, 
Unfortunately, sometimes you do this and you just get better as you go, and by that time you're already done with your manicure. up a little bit just so I don't bump them. There we go. Okay. Alright, we got our pretty colors. Let's see. Whoa. What's happening? <gasps> it's Missy Fab! Missy Fab, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Let's see. How do I do this one? Alright. We're doing this gradient with our greens right now. You're here for the fun part. I'm trying not to mush the colors together, but it is happening here and there. I probably could have done this with two colors, but I can't help myself. I'm always, like, obsessively getting all the colors. Alright, I will look at your... Whatever you've said on the screen, I will look at that in just a second. Give me just a moment. I feel like I like pulled polish off when I did that. Whoa, it like, okay. I really think, like, the first one's almost my favorite right now. Ah! I lost my glasses. I lost my glasses. Glasses down. Yay! So this will look better once I take the little plastic stickers off. I think I might just do just the lime green. I'm just gonna do the green. How are you doing, Missy? How was the coffee shop thing? And then I plan on putting some, like, gold flecks at the top of this. I hope that'll be, like... It was fun! Did you did you have, like, a fancy coffee? What did you order? What did you, what did you get? Alright, so... Let's see. Let me see, see, see. I think, uh... La, 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 la. I should do like for these white nails I plan on doing like a little uh, circle of gold try not to like get my hands all in the green that I just did I should squeeze that out a bit <laughs> it's pretty yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It was boring with my coffee order, but next time I'll get fancier. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Girl, you gotta take advantage of that coffee time. <laughs> Let me 
he's sticking to? So I'm sticking to something. And thank you for the bits. I'm sorry, I forgot about the bits. Wait a minute. Missy. Missy Fabulous. Thank you for gifting a sub. Oh, thank you. Oh, and you gifted it to Metamorphic Rock, who's in the strap. Yay. I keep thinking about, I really want to get something for my subscribers to have to make it worth subscribing. I want to get something special. I gotta figure that out. Woo! <laughs> she right here. Alright, guys, get ready. We're gonna get the gold out. This, is, this one's fun. This one's really fun. Just for you. So, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to get... I'm gonna get this green on me. Okay. Let's see, I think I can put it. Yes, gold glitter. I have another glittery one. Check this one out. Isn't that fun? I'm gonna use that one too. So this one, we're gonna make a. Make like a. Let's see, which end do I wanna do this on? Alright, we're gonna do like a gold circle on the white. This is like gold flex. It's like, the cool thing is the little gold pieces are like different sizes. And so they look really neat. Really shouldn't be spread too far out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm trying to make, I'm trying to leave the middle of the white nail blank. So I'm gonna be going around like this. I could have put a sticker on this hand too, but I didn't. <laughs> Alright, so it looks messy, but it's gonna... Turn the wrong way. It looks messy, but I promise it's gonna, it's gonna come together here. My hands are going to be all like gold foiled. <laughs> Thank you. I definitely should have put like a sticker on there. Oops. <laughs> ah, try not to touch you up. See now I want to put some gold I think on these pieces too. Could have shook this up a little bit, I guess. Right, that's enough. I really have to like be satisfied with it before I stamp it, because I'm putting some words in the middle there. I think I'm gonna do a little more.
It's okay if a little bit gets out. But... All right. I think that's pretty good. Let's do the other hand. So we're sticking with the plan here. Oh, you know what? That's right. I was going to put something different, but you know, it's still, I can still do it. Actually, this will work perfect for my plan for the other hand. Gold got out of control of that one, but that's okay. That's okay. I think I did a better job on the other finger, but I am better working with my left hand than my right hand, so... <laughs> it's a lot, a lot of stuff going on here. So what I want to do is take some of this gold and put it like on the gradient nails at the top. What do you think? Do you think I should do that? Basically, I'm going to take the sponge and just tip some gold on the on the ends here. What do you think? You think I should leave them just solid green or should I put something on there? Yes, Missy says yes, then we're going for it. Well, Metamorphic Rock said yes. We're going for it. We're going to do it. It's gonna be glitter everywhere. This stuff is so pretty. I love it. I mean, it's just pretty just to paint your nails with it by itself. I feel like it's giving me just juice. Where's, where's the gold at? Where the gold at? I don't want it to go too far down. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're gonna, uh, let's see if you could see it. Need my camera to focus. There we go. All right, so we're gonna try and tip, tip the ends here with a little bit. There's already, <laughs> I think I already got some on there by accident. Okay. Oh, I think that looks cool. Oh, I think I like that. I kind of want it to like sprinkle down a little bit. So I want it to be a little chaotic. I don't want it to be too perfect. Very wet. Very wet. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I think it looks so cool. Oh! All right, let's give this a, let's give it a little tumble.
I'm very excited because I was excited for this Manny. I mean, I really love this color set and uh, I love the green and the golds. Just getting to use this topper anytime makes me happy because it's so pretty. And so I was very excited about using it. And I, I came up with kind of a decent plan. I was actually practicing before stream, like trying to, you know, come up with some ideas. And I feel like I came up with some solid ideas. Uh oh. Where'd my music go? Oh, there it is. Trying not to let this gold get crazy and go all the way down. Just trying to... I want it to be at the very tippy top. Ah! Probably stuck to my finger there. I think I need just a little bit more. Give this a good old stir. The sponge is just like absorbed with the polish, so I don't think it's like. Oh no! Totally stabbed that. Get back on there. Here we go. My hands look crazy, but it promise it'll look. Now that those gold flakes will probably be a little bit of pain to get off, but that's okay. And then on the ends, the pinkies, I was just planning on doing, um, you know, either some of the gold, but now I think I'll take this one, because this one's going to go on the thumbs. I think that's what I'll do. Let's get this on the thumbs. I think I could take my, um, my stickers off now. Oh, I need a back stretch. Oh, I love green tea. Yeah, no problem. No problem. All right. My shirt all weird? No. It's a little chilly tonight. I got my, uh... <gasps> Mochi, you gonna get on your bed? Get on your bed, come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I have my cat cam set up tonight, but I need her to, to get on the bed. Do I have, like, a toy or something? She can watch. Here, look at this. Yeah. not paying attention. Nope, she just wants to rub on me. Like, no, get on the bed! Can you go in the bed? Can you sit on your bed? You can hang out with me. You can't get on my lap. Come on. Nope. Can't dare to do it. And she loves that blanket, too. I purposely have a really, like, her favorite blanket over there. She's She doesn't want it. Okay. So, we got some awesome golden green going on. And it looks really weird with my stickers on, but it'll look better once I, I go ahead and remove the sticker, which is also kind of satisfying. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Haha. -ha. Can. Oh, she's still back here thinking about it. She's thinking about getting on her bed.
We do not have the smoke. We don't. We can't take a smoke break though in in the craft room, unfortunately. <laughs> and my uh, my dedicated streaming friends know what that means. I know what it means. Look at it. I got a little little paint on my skin, but we could touch that up really easy. Look at the gold on the tips. Isn't that cool? That's right, Rock. You know. You know. Alright, we're, uh... I gotta get the sponge out of here. I keep touching the sponge. Yeah, we can't have... Can't have smoke break. I have cat cam ready to go this time. I have all my technology things are, are working tonight for me. So far. But I just can't get the cat to, uh... You know... Listen to me. So... <laughs> She'll come in here on her own and just go back there and start making biscuits on the bed. And of course she won't do it now that I got the camera ready. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't think he would fit on there. <laughs> I don't think he would abuse me like that. Someday I'm gonna get... My biggest pet peeve on my nail streams are the lighting. I have this really cool magnifying glass type thing so you guys could see a little better. But my lighting is still... I have a warm lamp right here. But the lamp I'm using, you know, for the majority of the nail stuff is a... Uh, ooh, I see the little naked spot where I want some gold. Darn it. Daddy! Do you, want, do you want to get on this blanket? You know, I could turn the stream on. Everybody would love it. I need a Don Donnie sleeps in cat bed button. I think I bumped this. So I'm gonna put some gold. I need the sponge to absorb all the nail polish that's on there because <laughs> the the gold flakes won't come off because it's so soaked there we go okay there we go that looks better I think this one could this one could technically use a little gold, but... There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm excited with how the gold-tipped green nails look. I didn't think they would look that good. But it, it really works. Alright, I want a little bit more on this one, too. It's crazy. You could actually buy, like, um, like gold foil and uh, get this foil stuff and you can cut it out and you can actually stamp with the foil which is just crazy but you can stamp it and it'll grab the image that you stamped and it'll just show this like metallic foil I watched this lady on YouTube do it like the other night and it was like I didn't know you could do that so at some point I may you know goof around with that I gotta stop. I'm getting glitter happy, guys. Getting glitter happy. Okay, let's put the gold away. We're gonna move on to our thumbs. Because I am going to put... I'm gonna stamp a design over this glitter. And I think it'll look cool. And then I'm gonna use some glitter and another stamp. Alright, this is that fun take my glasses off again so I could see ah I just mo can't help but uh oh, I love this polish it's so cool this stuff's pretty thin though I have to use multiple layers
I think I'm gonna have to like do a layer and let it dry. Yeah, this one, um, I'm not familiar with this Koki polish. This is the only Koki polish I've ever bought. No, well, taking another layer. fun. I'm not going to do the other thumb because I could do the pinkies though. This polish looks really good over dark color too. Like if you did it over green, I could do that. I could put green on the pinkies, but I don't know if I want to do that or not. I think I want to leave it like sparkly. I could do green sparkly with that glare. It would give it, it would give us some, sorry, I just shook the whole camera. Lost my glasses again. Need some old lady, like, uh, let me show you. I need some old lady, like, those little hangers for my neck or something. <laughs> Only when I'm doing this, though, because I end up having to take my glasses on and off. Quite a bit. You know, I think that's a good idea for the pinky. I was good you're going to go all gold, but I got a lot of gold going on in the other nails. So I think I will do... What color should I do? Obviously one of these greens. The other nail I didn't have to choose because I was able to fit three colors on there. But now I gotta choose. I could do a different cut. Let's do... You know what the heck with it. Let's do this lime green on one nail and we'll do the dark blue on the other. Why not? Let's do it. Well, you know what? I put a base coat on there. I forgot because I was going to do glitter. No, you can't get up here, but you could sit on the blanket. Go sit on that blanket for me. Please. So why don't you speak English? <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's okay. Let's do... Yeah, let's do... Let's do this. You cannot jump up here, ma'am. I see you at the corner of my eye. Mama can't play right now. That is some thick, thick ass polish. I feel like it's on there really thick. Moshi, no! Sorry. Nobody wants to see their. Anybody wants to see somebody yell at their cat on stream? <laughs> she still does it once in a while, and I, I let her get away with it. She will totally, like, jump up here. I'm telling you, though, this green polish looks... I, I put some, uh... I tested some on my, my... polish mat. And, uh... It looked like the sparkle looks different. It stands out differently amongst the black. Like I did black, like a black color. So I think it'll look cool on this. I don't like how I did the base of my nail there, but I don't think I could fix it. I'll have to fix it with the astringent, the uh, acetone. All right, so here's what we got so far. Thank you. Yeah, this one, this greenhouse, I like to call it like forest green. That one's really pretty. And this mossy color is really cool too. I've, I've, since, you know, since I started 
getting my solid colors. I've expanded a bit and I have a bunch of nice solid colors up there to work with now. Alright, so we're gonna let those dry. Let's, uh... I'm gonna let that dry. And I'm gonna get my stamper out. Let's do some stamping. Let's see. You know what? I wanna, um... I kind of feel like I should clear coat these in the middle so I don't mess them up. Stamps! Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna do some stamps. Because I'm gonna put a Happy St. Patrick's Day in the middle of this gold circle. That's what I was trying to do. And then I'm gonna hand paint a little clover on the other one. And these gradients... Oh my gosh, they'll they'll stand out so much more and they'll look so much prettier with this clear coat on. They will just they will vibe. It'll look so cool. Make sure I don't have any paint on there. I'm gonna do this one too, even though I'm gonna stamp on it. We're gonna keep the gold in place. Clean up my skin at the very end. Yeah, you're gonna see like the glitter really shine. Let's see how close I can get. Top coat. Hold on there, boss. I feel like that one definitely got on my skin. Oh, yeah. This one. Yeah, I definitely flooded my cuticles on these. It went a little crazy. This music reminds me of like. Like Valhalla or something, or <laughs> not Valhalla. What's the game that we played in the woods, and we were building, you know, little wooden forts and stuff. <laughs> She's laughing. She's like, "Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, Valheim." What I said, Valhalla. <laughs> this music reminds me of that. I feel like we're. We're frolicking in a field in the woods near the creek, and we're picking wild berries. And we're gonna we're gonna go find some rocks so we can build an axe, and then we're gonna find some wood, and we're gonna we're gonna build something else. It's gonna be great. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna top coat these suckers here, and then I can put glitter on top of them too. Then they will be ready for glitter when I'm when I come back to them. I kind of think it's oh I got some green on my my clear coat stem here. There we go. I'm, I've got it. 
Huh? Hello, how's it going? G re c re c. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna mispronounce your 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 name. Did I get polish on that one too? Eh, just a tiny bit. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's good to find it though. So you, you know. Before you go and smudge your polish into another color. Oh, I see you, Bubble. Alright, still looking a little messy. But we're getting there. Alright, alright. Let's see, let's see. I promised some stamping, so let's let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get our plate out. Again, I'm trying to like pick my stuff up without messing up my polish. Alright, here's our plate. I was already playing with it earlier, so it's got some smudgies. But this is like a springtime kind of themed plate. And we do have some a couple St. Patrick's Day areas here. And what I'm going to do, I know for my one thumb, I want to get this one on the end. I'm going to go ahead and try to pick it up with this. i got my scraper ready, my polish ready. Let's go ahead and give it a try here. Oh, you know what? Let's get the St. Patrick's Day first. There's a very, very tiny little St. Patrick's Day over here I want to try to get. Let's see how it came across. Uh, I think it was, I think we missed some of it. But like I said, it takes a little practice with your swipes. I could show you. I'm gonna try it again. Whoop. Oh, my. You made me cotton ball grabber was stuck. This is my cotton ball grabber. It's pretty awesome. So you don't have to touch your cotton ball. Screw up your nails and bump something like I just bump a light. Sorry, I think the whole, like, everything shifted when I did that. I feel like everything's crooked now. Yeah, it totally looks crooked. It's worse, isn't it? There we go. Oh. better. Okay. Okay. I don't know, there's a lot of women that just, um, stamp and stamp and stamp and don't clean the plate between each stamp. I just, I always worry that it's not going to work out very well so I always clean in between layers I've struggled a little bit getting the same patch today but it's not too bad so I'm gonna try a down swipe and see if that works you gotta work fast too okay. Like I said, sometimes this just takes a couple swipes or a different stamper. I could try a different stamper. Try my jelly stamper. Some of these, these little cheap ones work pretty well. I could try this one.
I'm always worried about the hairs off the cotton ball, like, getting in there, so I always do that. Alright. Sometimes I even just turn the whole thing around, do it from a different angle. Let's try... I'm trying a different stamper. It was, I think it was good going up or down. Nope. Nope, nope. I don't think that stamper worked real well for this. Again. It's so tiny, too. It's funny. It's like the tiniest. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I don't know. It doesn't say happy. It just says St. Patrick's Day on it. Alright. Give it another shot. Turn it back this way. Whoa. It's a lot of polish, man. That is better. It's getting better. Whoa, the Easter went really well. There's like Easter on here. And it's hard to see because my stamper is all messed up, but there's Easter, and the Easter came out perfect, of course. Maybe that means I need um, more polish. Okay. I still feel like if the moment I stop cleaning the plate, the moment it will... really light. Alright, that might be the best one we got. And again, it's going to be hard to see. It is a tiny, tiny little thing that says St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> That's why I think for my other hand, I'm going to hand paint. I'm going to hand paint the art on that one. Okay, and so now we're just going to clean this up. I kind of wish I had some more like little clovers around it, but it doesn't. That's okay. And basically now I'm going to take my sticky base coat and use it to make the stamp stick. A lot of times, um, I really just need it in the middle there. Don't really need the whole thing covered, but, um, I don't know. Like, I see women stamping, and then they're immediately putting the stamp down on their hand, and they do it so well, and I, I can't do that. Like, I basically have to put the sticky base coat down. Okay, so now, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one on the end here. With the same color. This is, like, the perfect St. Patrick's shade of green. Although all of them are so pretty. I used a lot of polish there. Okay, here we go. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, but it's a little smudgy. I'm gonna do it one more time. I think this one's gonna pick up easier than the other one. This one is, I think, going to cooperate just a little bit more. I'm going to flip my cotton ball over. <gasps> thank you! Thank you, thank you. I think we need to, uh... 
The stamping starts making the, the paper towel get real messy. I think we need to flip this over so I don't put my arm in this paint. Yeah, let's let's flip it over. There we go. No, oh, I accidentally flipped my stamper on the table. Clean that off. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Here, that's a much more controlled drop of paint than before. Big money, no whammies. Big money! I think it's pretty good. I think we're just gonna go with it. I see some holes. Could do one more time, but let me see. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll leave it. I think we'll leave it. Cause what I plan to do, I'm going to take this really pretty glitter polish and like fill in the clovers with the glitter polish. We're gonna take our fun little, our fun little paintbrush. You know what, before I start that, I feel like I wanna change this music out. I'm a little tired of the music. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see what else we got. I mean, I could go, like, a different direction and go, like, synth wave. I don't know. Let's see what this sounds like. I don't know about this. I need the message to get out of the way so I can... Get out of their message! Sorry. There's a message like up in the corner of my screen and it, it's blocking my browser and it won't go away. Here, I'll just minimize it, you jerk. There we go. It decided to fade after like a ridiculous amount of time. Wait, where did my. Where did my. trying to do the right thing. I'm trying to get, like, no copyright music. <laughs> There's some playlists that come up, though, and they say they're not, or they say, in the no copyright list, and then it is the copyright. Let's see what this is. What's this one? Eh. Kind of like my fantasy music almost better. Uh, what's this? No copyright fantasy music. This is very similar to what I was just listening to. That's fine. I want a song that I can fall in love with. Why are, why are you guys saying that? What, what is this falling in love song stuff? I don't understand. Did I miss something? Did I miss a... Is there a joke I'm missing out on? Alright, anyway... Back to the art, the nail art. Thank you, Missy. All right, yeah, here's a closer look. We're gonna fill it in with this pretty, pretty glitter. 
gonna have to like grab it with my paintbrush. Alright, I'm taking my glasses off, guys. So I can paint. It should be pretty forgiving since it's a, a glitter. Cheesy, thank you for stopping by. How are you doing? I guess this has a little drum to it. Sorry guys, I'm getting quiet. I'm just focusing here. I'm curious how this is going to show up, you know, behind the stamp design, but I think it'll be cool. You can see, I hope the glitter shows up. Let's see, let's, let's sneak peek. I'm not bopping it. Ooh, I think it's showing up. I think it's showing up. Or if you were playing D&D, &D, would you play this kind of music? Ooh, it's tight getting those tiny ones. Oh shit. Cheesy. I forgot. I'm so sorry. I forgot. Missy said you were doing a hot stream. <laughs> a hot tent stream tonight. Did I miss it? Did you end up doing it? I honestly got 
so involved with planning this that I I forgot. I'm so sorry. I know I will not fit all this on my nail. But what you do is you paint all of it and then you get the part that looks the best and you use that part. It looks so cool. Yeah, you just don't know if you might. Heck, if you wanted to, if you were using this on small nails, you could just split it in half and, like, use one on one and one on the other. Alright. I'll clean my brush off. be hard getting that glitter out of that brush. No, I was too lazy to take all my shit out. Oh. All right, well, it's still going to be cold this week, so you got plenty of time, sucker. All right. Let's take a look at this. Move this bottle. I'm still going to knock it over. I think it's pretty. Oh my god. All right, well, we'll have to let this dry a little bit. So, we're going to put this to the side. We're going to take a sip of my drink. And then it's kind of wired down. And, where's Happy St. Patrick's Day? Where'd he go? There he is. Man, I almost forgot about him. Okay. Let's put St. Patrick's Day in the middle of this nail. there yay that actually looks just like I wanted it to pretty much check this out I don't know if you could see it sorry it's so bad about like yay all right and then this guy is gonna go on this blank nail right here yeah, isn't it cute? Love it. Okay. And then, oh, I smudged this nail over here. Oh, I didn't even see it. Smudged it pretty darn good. Okay, I'm going to have to just touch it up a little bit. Do like a really quick... Good enough. I bumped it. Alright, we'll have to top coat it again. I can put... Ah! Stuff needs to stop falling over. Okay. Let's take this stuff. Let's, uh... Ooh. I'll make a big-ass mess. That would not... That'd be a good stream, co uh, stream uh, content, but I really... Wouldn't want that 
nail polish ass bloated all over me. That would be awful. Oh, look at this glitter on this end nail. That is pretty. I'm so excited getting to take advantage of this polish because, like I said, I bought it maybe two, maybe a year or two ago, and I did not really get to take advantage of it last year. It just proves that you need to try your glitter toppers over different colors because they look different depending on if it's dark or light. You get it a completely different look. Yeah! Sweet. Alright, so... That one still looks all smudgy. I'm just gonna put the glitter on it right now. I don't even care. I probably shouldn't. I should probably wait. I should let it dry a little bit, because it'll act up if I just plop stuff on top of it. Okay, let's do our other stamp. Okay, so let's clean this one off. And what I was gonna do was, I was gonna, this is plant in the middle. Now the plant is way too big, I can't really, I could do the other, I don't know, I could do. I kinda wanted to do like a plant going up over this glitter. I could do these little clovers too and it would be nice too, I don't know. It's hard for you guys to see. But there's like a, you see right there, there's some more clovers and little ladybugs. And then there's this plant in the middle. Now the plant is way too big. You gotta pick one part of it or the other. I kind of like the little rain cloud in the plant. And so I was gonna have the plant kind of coming up through this glitter. What do you think? Anybody got any thoughts if I should just do the clovers here? Or do like the plant over here and like... I kind of like the rain cloud. But I don't know if it'll, how that will show. Which one? What, try which one? The plant? Tr trim paths? Whoa! What? Holy moly! Oh my god! Happy St. Patrick's Day! Early St. Patrick's Day! Thank you so much for the raid! Holy moly! Yay! Hello! <laughs> Thank you, everybody! Thank you! Happy St. Patrick's Day! Thank you! I got some glitter all over my hands. Yay! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, everybody! Wow, thank you so much for the raid! That is so nice! <laughs> thank you! Oh my gosh. Wow. You guys are amazing! Thank you for the follows! Ah! Oh, everybody, I was just about to ask. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you for the follows. You guys are too much. This might be like my biggest raid. Isn't that, isn't that funny? This may be like the most people that have raided me. Thank you so much. Um, so I got this little guy sitting on the side right now. I'm waiting for him to dry a little bit. Um, so we're going to put this one on the, on the thumb. I just painted in the glitter. Trim, is it trim paths? Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, so I filled, um, I filled these clovers in with some really pretty, my, hold on, I got the bottle open. You guys are the best. Wow, holy moly. This Koki, um, it is called Feeling Lucky. And I just filled in the little clovers with it, and so yeah, I got all kinds of stuff going on. 
Trim, trim. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Wow, you guys surprised me. You're, you're coming in at the end here at the fun part, so that's good. So this one, I'm just kind of letting that dry. That's going to go on this thumb. And then this thumb, You, I let you guys... Let me know what you think. Welcome, Raiders! You guys are the best. Um, so I got this little clover and ladybugs over here, or I was going to take the plant. Like, I could only fit so much of this plant, but I was going to take the plant and, like, have it go up through this glitter right here. So what do you think, plant or the clover and ladybugs? You like the plant. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, the plant is pretty. I'm trying to figure out what part I want to use. I kind of like the bunny. I kind of like the storm cloud. The plant could be cool. Do like a pagan. Use drazzle motif. <laughs> yes, the plant. The plant. Team plant. I just I'm, I keep bumping my my pinky here. Let me put some clear coat on that because I got I just put some glitter on top of the pinky. See if my camera will focus. There you go. It's trying. It's trying. Yeah, there's a little snail. I like the snail, too. I'm big on asymmetrical and even, though. The clovers are different, and I like the idea of the plant. Yeah, I think I'm going to use a dark one of these dark greens, and I think the plant will show up on here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like looking at my camera. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna get a fresh cotton ball. Oh, that's right. Let me put this clear coat on my pinky. I keep feeling it. I smudged my other pinky earlier because I'm impatient, and this my top coat will will help me out. I gotta clean up. My, uh, I gotta clean up my skin, obviously. I didn't do that yet. <laughs> I am not a professional nail person. No, I started just, um, I got into nail art. It's been like a year and a half I've been doing nail art. I mean, I've done my nails before that, but I got into stamping, and I, I got some little brushes, and I'm starting to learn how to do, like, hand art. And no, I'm just using regular polish. This is not gel. Um... I do not know how to do gel. <laughs> I do not have a lamp or anything, so I just do nail art. I just started, like, kind of... I'm trying to learn stuff every every stream, you know, and every week I'm trying to, like... Well, every, I do my nails about every two weeks to two and a half weeks, so... Oh my god, yes, I love it. That's so cool. Your gradient on the green to yellow tips are so beautiful. Thank you! Yeah, I got these, um... This is, like, a... The one on the end is this cool lime limelight and then I, I tipped it with the uh, Cirque colors I don't know if you guys know Cirque colors I'm sure you do if you're nail people oh I see my screen okay but I love this topper and I did this on the on the tips thank you you guys are too kind thank you very very much yeah I just um I had a pretty good plan set up tonight I got my little notebook out I have a notebook that I, I try to plan a little bit so you can see I had my little <laughs> my fingers drawn on there and I was trying to plan something out. Alright, let's see. I bumped this one. I gotta clear coat the other. Oh, that's right. I'm putting glitter on this other pinky. Thank you. Trimpath, I'm assuming you do nails. Do you do nails too? Do you stream nail stuff? Missy Fab with a gifted sub. Thank you. She gifted a sub to Cyber Radiation 99. And OG Renok. Yay. Thank you so much, Missy Fabulous. I do a little. I don't exclusively stream nail stuff, and I'm no legitimate nail. It's just for fun. Okay. Onrak is paying for the gift that you got from Missy. Oh, you guys. 
We did a little marble look today. Oh yeah? I will I will pass it forward because I do not do nail stuff. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I do nail streams and then I stream video games too. Um, the video game the video game streams are very casual and I'm just I usually will just like start playing a game and just turn my stream on and not even advertise it. So um some of the some of the folks in the chat tonight, some of my best supporters are in here and we play Fortnite. We play a lot of Fortnite, kind of a guilty pleasure. We played a lot of Seven Days to Die back in the day. And I love playing Overwatch. I play a lot of Overwatch. I'm looking for some new video games though, so <laughs> we have a lot of gamers. What sort of games do you Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I have straight talons, super hard thick nails. It's way too much for me to work with. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, I gotta go to bed. Well, I will try to post pictures on Facebook and Instagram. My socials have been kind of popping up. <laughs> yes, everybody, please go give Trims a follow. Please, please, please. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, OG Renock. I really, really appreciate you coming by and just talking to me in the chat and hanging out. Thank you. I'm. We're almost to the to conclusion here. If I stop talking, <laughs> um, like I said, I just gotta do this one last stamp. So let me get my sticky base coat going for the stamp. I'm trying to think ahead a little bit here, right? Thank you, Cheesy Taco. Cheesy Taco looking out for me. All right. So, Trent, let's see. No way, I love Fortnite and Overwatch too. That's a crazy coincidence. Oh, awesome. Yeah, no, we have a good time playing Fortnite. It's, we're, we're trying to find them. You have a great night. Um. We're tr you're trying to find some new games for groups, you know, um, which we struggle with a little bit, but uh, I wonder if I should put some more glitter on that. I think it's good the way it looks. I think I'm going to leave it. I don't know if I should thicken it up or not. I see a little, like, bump right here. I love this Orly base, to base coat. It I use it as a sticky, sticky, you know, for my stamping. But it, it, it dries so nice and flat. It doesn't get bumpy. Have you tried Deep Rock Galactic? Glam Methum. Okay. All right. Your wish is my command. I have not. Is that fun? Is it like, um, is it like a big MMO or what kind of game is that? I mean, we're, we're used to like Seven Days to Die. I don't know if you've ever played that. It's a horrible game and we've played it for many years. And we, it, it seems to suck us back in after a while. But, you know, it's like zombies and you're building stuff and you're, you're building a fort. And then you gotta survive the zombie horde every seven, seven nights. And the graphics are awful and, you know, but it's fun. Yes, you play as dwarves with your friends and mine rocks while fighting hordes of bugs. Okay. You might have to... Do me a favor. Well, I don't know if you... Can you, like... Hey, your Metamorphic Rock, can you remember the name of that game? Because I'm going to forget. Okay, she knows it. Okay, awesome. She knows it. Dwarves and lots of teamwork or die. Okay. Is it free, do you know, or is it do you got to pay right now? We're going to glam this thumb up. Metamorphic Rock said it so. We're going to glam it up. There you go. I glammed, I gave it another layer. It is not free though. It does go on sale. Okay. Well, I'm not, I'm not totally opposed to, uh, to paying or anything. I'm just curious. <laughs> Used to be free on Game Pass. Okay, I have Game Pass. Yeah, I, like I said, I've been, I was looking at, um, free on Xbox. Okay. Well, at least that way, if I go on Xbox, I could try it. You know what I mean? 
and like see how it goes. Okay, let, let's do our stamp here before I, I get more distracted. <laughs> um, we were looking at Sons of the Forest. I, I wish I could try it out though. I don't want to pay the money without trying it out first. And then we were, I was looking at that uh, Satisfactory game. I think I'm going to try to get the little snail. I'm going to see how that goes. I wish I could fit the rain cloud, but I know that rain cloud just won't fit. I'm not going to be able to get the whole thing. Ooh, we're going to have my other stamper ready. Alright, let's see how this goes. That came out pretty good. I feel like... I feel like it could be a little better though. I don't know. See, I. It could be the stamper I'm using. Will be on sale for 38 more hours. Okay. I might get it on Steam. Thanks for the sale info. Free with Gabe. Yeah! Well, my bud's here. We, we like to try these new games out and stuff, so we'll probably be checking that out. Thank you for the info. 67% whoa okay well that's a good deal that's a good deal you can always try it in the next day or so and buy it yeah that's true okay I think I'm gonna try to give this one more swipe sorry I'm trying to get my camera to focus my camera struggles with the stamper sometimes Actually, it's easier that way. Okay, let's give this one more swipe. Sometimes you, just with stamping, you, you gotta try numerous times to get it right. Wait, where did my, uh, my cotton ball thing went away? I just, like, stuck it back in the bottle. It's sleep time, though. Gotta go to work tonight, tomorrow. Okay. Well, thank you so much again for uh, coming in and saying hello and chatting and following and everything you guys just made my night this is awesome i love i love when people are here to chat with me and and see what's going on like so i'm glad you you showed up at the fun part of the nail stream <laughs> i i try not to do the boring parts online but then sometimes i'm like well i'll get some hours too you know so but this is this is one of my fun little hobbies right now I haven't done any cosplay in a long time, but I'm a cosplayer too. It's just, uh, it's been a while since I've got to do any cosplay work. Last time I worked on cosplay was last summer. Last summer. Okay. Let's do it again. One more time. One more time. I really, see, yeah, this is my favorite stamper. I think, I think if I get this and put it on my nail and be done with that then I go back to the other one and like, let's do that because this should be dry what do you cosplay oh that's that's a hard question uh well I, I really like anime and Japanese culture so I have a lot of anime stuff um I love stranger things so I cosplayed last year I did a stranger things prom dress and I have like the upside down under my dress so they're like the the mind flare was under there and it was all lighting up so that I was very proud of. My neighbor helped me do the lighting. And, um... Yes, and then I did Max. I did Max last year, and I was just... I felt a really big connection with Max. And I was really... Pr I even went out and I got an actual... On eBay, I bought an actual Walkman so I could... And my boyfriend helped me make... We made a mixtape. And I made a mixtape, and I walked around the convention floor with the mixtape playing in my ears. And that was kind of amazing, I have to say. Yeah, um, like I said, my social stuff comes up in the, in the chat. If you go to that Facebook page, um, I need to really get better about updating my pictures. I should have some pictures on there, my Instagram. Alright, I'm gonna try to plop this on here. Let's see, which one looks good? Do I want the clear one? I think I want to do it this direction. I don't want to miss, like, my nail. Let's see. I may have to look at this with my eyeballs, guys. Let's see. 
feel like I'm gonna miss the edges of my nail. Can I go this way? I know I really can't. Okay. Here goes nothing. If this actually goes on here properly, it'll look really cool. I can see some of it trying to lift up. I'm trying to get this one edge to like... That was nerve-wracking. Oh, it worked pretty good, though. It worked pretty good. All we have to do is, like, um, I have a little wire thing. I can even fix the edges. And then once I put a clear coat on this, you will see the design much better. I may have to take my acetone and... But basically you try to break away the design. You know. Oh no! I cut on the tip of my other nail when I did that. Oh no! <laughs> That's okay. Because of the glitter, it's kind of hard to, to tell. I do need to break this part back here, though. I don't want it to stick again. That's why you get Q-tips. Or not Q-tips. You get your tweezers, and you have them nearby. <laughs> ah, there we go. It's coming off. see what you guys are saying. So sorry, I'm old lady, I gotta take my glasses off. How long does it usually take for you to do a set of nails? Um, so usually, um, usually I'll spend one night taking the old nail polish off. I'll sit in front of the TV, I have like a basket of nail stuff, and I'll sit in front of the TV, I will remove the nail polish, clip, sand, buff, I'll put a base coat on. Sometimes when I'm stamping, I will do, like, the base nails one night and then do a, a separate stream with the stamping on the other, but if I do the base color and the stamping in one night, my streams are usually, like, four hours long. <laughs> three, three and a half to four hours long. I've been streaming for two hours and six minutes so far, so I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> um, now, my skin will look all dry and gross, but... I, you know, you don't want to put oil on while you're doing your nails, so... It is, but it, it's good for streaming. I mean... And people can kind of pop in and out when they want. And people get to see the whole process. I'm, I'm, I want to try to get to a point where I, I can make some really... Just upload my, my streams to YouTube so people can, like, fast forward through it, you know, and get to some, some part that they maybe want to watch, you know? Um... I'm working in that as we speak. <laughs> I'm not a video editor. I haven't edited videos in a very long time and I gotta get back into figuring that out. <laughs> cause I can't depend on my boyfriend to do it cause it's very time consuming and he has his own stuff he has to edit. Um, but yeah, my nail streams typically, if I really, if I do stamping and nail art and everything, it's, it's about three and a half, four hours. But like I said, it's, I'm I'm usually like expecting it, so I'm kind of like buckled in for the ride <laughs> for the night, you know. I I love to do like on a Sunday or Saturday. I love to do a nail stream during the day. That way, like my night isn't just gone, you know. Um, but I'll honestly, I will probably get off here, get a snack when I'm done, and then go play some Overwatch. <laughs> Thank you, Metamorphic Rock. I appreciate it. And you know what, our buddy. Uh, Oh, what's his name? I had a brain fart. Alright, I'm gonna get back to the plant. I got this on here. The glitter and stuff will show up once I top coat it, which I could top coat it. You know what? I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Let's do this. Let's get this, let's get this part. Um, okay, I have the stamper available now. Now, this is my best stamper. 
Of all the stampers I've bought, this one picks up the best. I don't know what it is about the stamper, but it just, it's great. I'm trying not to mess up my nails now on this, uh... Use your good old lint roller to clean up your, your stampers. But this is the very first one I ever bought, and it works the best out of all of them. I bought the exact same one, and it doesn't work as good. I don't know why. It's just the weirdest thing. Okay. So again, I'm going to try to get this, uh, this little section over here. Stamping varies based on how you roll the stamper, it, based on the paint, the stamper you're using, the, the card you're swiping with. There's all kind of factors that like can mess it up. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm kind of particular about it. If I see it doesn't like pick up the way I want, then I just do it again. Cause again, the way I, the way I scraped or the way I rolled could have messed it up. So I don't mind. Like it's really not difficult to just try again. You just like, whoop, it's gone. And like I said, there's women who just paint and just paint over the paint, and I just can't. I don't know. I gotta clean up every time I do it. Just make sure there's no hair or lint on there. There we go. Look, I'm gonna have a bunch of green on my arm here in a little bit because I can't... <laughs> I'm barely feeling it touch. Like I said, I really like the little rain cloud. I just, I don't think he'll fit. All right, we're gonna try again. I'm gonna try to go for very light, very light pressure. All right, I think that's the best one. That looks really good. If you guys can see it. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Yay. See, I love that rain cloud. I could I could technically stamp the part with the rain cloud in it. Thank you. Let's uh, clean up this edge. I don't think the bird is kind of cut off. I'm going to take the bird out. Okay. I got that out of there. Punch buggy. Hi. How are you doing? Gotta clean up stuff. It's green everywhere. It's green all over the place. It's how we like it around St. Patrick's Day. Alright. So now, let's think about this. Hopefully this will show up after all this. I think it will. I gotta look at it with my glasses off, guys, just for a sec. I wanna... I don't know, I like the little s snail too, but I like the cloud. I still don't think the cloud will fit. Yeah, my nail just isn't big enough for this design, but that's okay. I could get... And my hand's shaking a little bit. See, if I go way over, I can fit the snail in. But I don't know. Let's see. I could just have it just look viney and get the snail in there. The flower and the rain cloud are really pretty, though. There's like these little raspberry looking plants in there. I like the butterfly, too. Oh, I just can't have it all! Okay, well. I know, it's a tough decision. I do have trouble with small nails in some of these designs. I know! That, that's the problem with us small nail people. I think, I mean, my nails are at the perfect length for me. So I just kind of have to barter, you know, here with what I want to do. Oh. I think my, I think the, I think it went to the next song. Yeah, it's tough. Because this, the snail is really cute. But I like the butterfly, too. 
look at it one more time. I don't know. Mr. Snail may not have to get because it, I think I kind of want some of these other plants in here. And I kind of like the earth kind of sticking out at the bottom there. I do like the snail guy, though. I could do a spring manny later and we could, we could fit him in, you know, so. All right, guys, I think I'm going to go for the, um, I think I'm going to put some sticky base coat on here and we're going to, I might be able to, I wonder if I could like fit the butterfly in somehow. Butterfly in the sky, I can fly just as high. All right. I'm gonna let my sticky base coat. And we are almost done. We're almost done with this. This Manny. We're almost done. Let me clean up my plate. My music just stopped. Maybe that was just the end of that playlist. Video pause. Continue watching. Yes, please. It's like, is, is, is this Netflix? What's happening right now? Is it Netflix? Is it Netflix or what service does that? Well, you'll be watching and it'll be like, are you still there? <laughs> well, I want to say thank you again to everybody who is hanging out with me tonight and who stopped by. Holy moly, I'm telling you, that was like the biggest raid I think I've ever had tonight. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. It's been fun. It's really, it's really made the stream worthwhile. Oh, no problem. I have to wrap up some homework before bed, but it was so nice to meet you all. The nails look fantastic. Thank you. Coda, thank you so much. Feel free to come by again sometime. Like I said, you may catch me just goofing off and playing games with my friends, or I might be doing some more nails. Thank you. I appreciate you. Alright. Let's come down to this. Let's come down to me having to choose one thing or another. But I kind of like the ground here. I like the little raspberries too. Alright, here we go, guys. There goes nothing. Hopefully I don't screw it up after all this. put on there did pretty good it's a little wrinkled but that happens usually I just gently tap it down we got a raspberry we got a plant and then once I put the clear coat on there oh you know what shoot I forgot something I was gonna do one last thing this was the uh Gonna try to do a tiny bit of what color did I do this in? Yeah. See I think the plant looks good amongst the glitter. I think it stands out. I said both of these will look much better once I top coat them. Oh you know what? I didn't even think. I was gonna try to do some hand art over here. But I don't think I have to. I'm I'm left-handed, and so doing hand art with my right hand is going to be quite quite the feat. <laughs> but I do want to put a little clover in the middle of that other gold there. So you know what? Let's let's cheat and let's go back to the let's go back to the plate here. I'm gonna use one of these. I'm gonna I'm gonna use one of these. This polish is, believe it or not, a little thinner than the other ones. Oh shoot. I kind of jumped the gun here. Where's my stamper? There it is. Here we 
There we go. I'm just going to take one of these clovers off of here, and I'm going to stamp it on there. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Let's see, which one do we want? Well, the big one's kind of got smudgy, so I guess we're going for one that has a hole in the middle. Sorry, Mr. Uh, Ladybug. I think you're going. We're just clearing everybody out. Sorry, I keep bumping the uh, magnifying glass here. I kind of like the little speckles that they are left around it. All right. Ah. Sorry, I was like, saw some stuff on my nail. I bet you any money it's it's grabbing. No, stop. It's grabbing from something else. The top of my nail is just green because I keep touching stuff. Okay. I want, this probably won't stick. I'm gonna do a little sticky base coat. Real thin coat of that. Alright, wait for that to dry. And we just have to clean up our cuticles and clear coat. Alright, I gotta be really careful with the stamped thumbs because this stuff will. I just, I, I don't like the water base, uh, no smudge top coat, so I just try to float my top coat, basically. And sometimes it still smudges. I'll even, like, flood my cuticles a little bit with the top coat just to make sure I get it. And I totally did this time. I totally put way too much in there. Yep. Totally getting my arm in that green paint. <laughs> Whoever just messaged, I will be with you in just a second. Yeah, I put a lot on there. <laughs> I can feel it. Alright, let's do our, uh... But see, this is the fun part when you really get to see the, uh... You get to see the glitter pop from the top coat. I love that. Let's see, did I top coat this? Yeah, I did. Okay. But I don't know if you can see now. Look how sparkly that is, and... I think it's so cool. Again, I feel like I lobbed a lot on there. I'm really gonna have to like make sure I don't bump that. This man is inspiring me. Oh, thank you, Punch Buggy. <laughs> thank you. I was excited about that little circle of gold with the St. Patrick's Day in the middle. <laughs> I thought of that and I was like, ooh, that gives me an excuse to use that gold glitter topper stuff. This one, oh man, I put a lot of top coat on there. I shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. Alright, I'm nervous about this other one too. This has got a lot of stamp paint on it. Just gonna drop a big old blob on there. Sorry, my hand is shaking a little bit. Yay! Now I just have to not screw this up. And smudge it. I have to be patient and not smudge it.
Patience, patience, patience. See, I'm sure somebody asked me if I do professional nails. I'm sure a professional does not have a toothpick and does this, what I'm doing right here. I'm sure that's not a professional thing to do. I'm gonna get my... Oh, look how pretty. I love the sparkly clovers. Ow. Did I just tap it? Did I just tap it? I'm still okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything's okay. It's like the detrimental moments right here. Yeah, I usually stream, um, I usually like to do nail streams on, like I said, the weekend or a Thursday night. I don't know why I picked Thursday night, but Thursday night, and usually I'm in a pretty good mood because it's close to the weekend, but I'm going to be really sad when I wake up tomorrow and find out it's Wednesday. <laughs> and it's not, the weekend is not here yet. I'm going to be really sad about that. We have a meeting at work tomorrow, and... Part of me is kind of happy for the meeting, just because it'll break the day up a little bit, but... Our meetings can get really long. <laughs> and so... Although we got a lot of people not... Who are not going to be in the office for this meeting. They're going to be somewhere else. So that may cut it down a bit. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be fun getting this gold glitter off my hands. I can tell right now that it's going to be a task. Let's see. I'm so sorry. Let me take one. Yeah, I know. I know. I well, I covered earlier. I put stickers, you know, those little stickers around um, the hands I did the gradient on. This is like a dark green to light green gradient. But I did not put any around the middle finger. I was like, oh, it's just some glitter. It'll be fine. And uh, I probably should have wrapped that finger too. Not really thinking there. All right, let's put uh, our little dude on here. Nope, don't you bump each other. I felt that. I felt that. Don't you do it, thumbs. I just need you thumbs to behave for the rest of the night. Okay, let's put this little guy in the middle. I don't know if I really got him centered. But there he is. <laughs> Cute. Cute. Perfect little, like, accent for that gold. Again, my I'll, things will look normal once the gold is all off my hands. 
Yay! Thank you. I'm very happy with how this came out. Like it, everything worked pretty well. I didn't run into too many setbacks. And like I said, if you guys look, I will do my best to post pictures soon, like in the next couple days. Um, Cause usually you can see the colors better and, and you can see things better when I post pictures. So I usually, Sometimes I post on Instagram. I just hate that they I usually put my watermark and then they chop my watermark off um, So sometimes I'll, I won't go to Instagram and I'll go straight to Facebook But if I post on Instagram, it should automatically post them to my Facebook page. See there's my socials right there. I will um, I Will try my darndest to post pictures here in the next couple days so you could see like a nicer view of the nails Let me get a clean cotton ball and try to get this glitter off my skin. <laughs> Punch buggy, what have you been up to lately? Are you doing um are you doing a St. Patty's Day Manny too? Oh, cotton ball, bad idea. I see you. I see you. I was like, maybe the cotton ball will be a good idea. Nope. I see you here. Get out of there. Get out of there. I really hate cotton balls. I really hope we can... They come up with some, like, technological solution to replace cotton balls with something that's, like, reusable. I don't know. Yeah, that glitter may be a, a brush-only situation. Not too much. We're supposed to have a Polish Posse group stream tomorrow evening. Okay, so so what does that involve? When you say Polish Posse group, what are you guys going to be doing? I think it's going to be under Danny Shout's Twitch. Okay. I think I follow Danny. I'm pretty sure I do. I'm trying to get my acetone to come out of the little pump. This glitter may be like a wash off situation. I don't know, I just smudged one of my my nails, darn it. Oh no. Totally smudged up my um one of my gradients. Kind of an open house on Discord that we stream on Twitch. We just all get together and do nails. Oh <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha, okay. So is it like, is everybody in Discord doing nails, or are they, everybody like, uh... Is everybody streaming it too? Oh, I'm so sad, I messed up my gradient somehow. Man, that's okay. I really can't do it over right now, because it already has like, all these layers. I think it'll look bad if I try to like, touch it up, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna put some more top coat on it. I'm pretty sure I already top coated it, but maybe I didn't. Whoa, words. There's there's words. There was not words till now. What what is this? I don't know about this. This is <laughs> not what I was looking for. Yeah, we go to someone's Discord and then one person streams. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Man. And you guys all chat up, I assume. That sounds cool. Oh my god, did I just bump this again? I'm just trying to get this cord. I have, like, cords everywhere. Like, my, my st stream setup is, like, busy. There's just... Nail streams are so much harder than uh, game streams. Game streams, you just turn on the camera and your equipment hopefully is working. Although I always have audio issues. And you just go. And man, I got cords everywhere. I got stuff everywhere. I got nail supply everywhere. 
I can't help but bump into something. I'm gonna turn this music off. I don't. I don't want. I don't know what this is. We're just gonna. We're gonna no. We'll go back to something else for now. Can I not get out of this playlist? It will not take me back to this good old book. I haven't streamed in a month or more. I keep telling myself I will, and then I don't. It streaming is a lot of work. Uh, nail streams are a lot of work, but streaming in general, I found, you know, it, anybody who's just like, ah, oh, that's easy, you know, they don't know. They don't know. <laughs> I, I, for me, I, I always end up having technological issues. I always have some kind of technological issue. And I got a new camera. So this camera here is a new camera. Hopefully you guys can see stuff pretty well and it looks good. Um... But, um, and that was, again, it, it didn't work at first, and I tried to get it to work, like, numerous times. I'd download software for it, and then it wouldn't show up on my, my software, and anyway, we figured it out. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I always have audio problems, all the time. Someday, I hope to not have audio problems. It would be great. Man, it's like I need something hardcore to get this, this glitter off. This is what I should have... I should have covered my skin for this part, because uh, this stuff ain't budging unless I... Um, I really smudge the brush into my finger. Paint it... Oh, like my skin? And then, like, peel it off? That's a good idea. I mean, I know after I wash my hands a couple of times or shower, it's gonna... It's gonna come off. Yeah, exactly. That'll bind it all together and make it... Okay. Well, yeah, maybe I shouldn't sit here and try to mess with it right now. I'm just kind of... I was thinking maybe I can budget, but... I was hoping I could give you guys clean hands at the end here, but... May not be happening. I just don't want to damage the end of my brush because I'm like mashing it, you know, onto my skin. Alright. Let's see. We clear coated that. We clear coated that. I think that this thumb needs one more clear coat though because it's kind of bumpy. I'll just give it a, a thin. Cool, cool, cool. And this one, I put a ton of top coat on that. I don't need to mess with that. Doing some last minute touch ups. And I am done. Like I said, I'll I will take your advice and I will um put some of the top coat on my skin 
and see if I could just peel that sucker off of there. Should make sure I don't have any paint on my cuticles. Got a little bit over here, but. see where I was dumb dumb and I got cotton. I see some cotton fuzz in my nail there. Let's see, paint anywhere else? Cannot get my acetone to come up in my little holder today. I want to get out of there. All right. Oh, I didn't see this. Hello, computer. Can you load for me? Thank you. Well, gang, I think that's it for me. I think I'm done. I am, uh, like I said, I will uh, clean up my skin a little better when I get off here and get my cuticle oil out and give my nails uh, some good old oil and clean up because look at all the green all the green all the green oh, thank you guys so much oh my gosh this has been an amazing stream this has been awesome and I'm gonna have to go uh check some people out after I get off here but thank you to everybody who came tonight and hung out with me this has been amazing and thank you metamorphic rock you were here hanging out with me all night I appreciate you for supporting me that was so nice of you and um I just love you guys thank you thank you um I will don't really have many uh I kind of checked I know I know Let's see. I'm trying to get him out. Yes! I'm very happy with these. I really am. They're really fun. 
I love that gold flake. It's so pretty. And I got to utilize this other one too. It's awesome. I said I just can't mess them up for bed. <laughs> but um, I don't really have anybody to raid out to. I don't have many people online right now. So I'm probably just going to shut it down. But thank you so much, everybody. Everybody have a great night. Mwah. To you guys. Wait, this way. Mwah. <laughs>